Hello friends, welcome back to this channel. In this video, I am going to give you the solutions for week 3 assignment of introduction to machine learning course. Friends, uh, please watch the video till the end. Uh, if, if you skip the video, you may miss some content in between, uh, which I say. So, please watch full video. And I have uh, worked really hard to get you the best possible answers. I do not guarantee all the solutions, but I think most of the solutions are correct. It took me really a uh, very long time, uh, suppose uh, maybe 5 to 6 hours of time I have taken to prepare the solutions and some are mathematical ones so it will be difficult to predict the accurate ones. And you know that no one is posting the solutions uh, before I post in the YouTube. So please keep supporting me. If you have any uh, changes for the solutions please mention in the comment section. And moving on to the first question, which of the following is false about a logistic regression based classifier? So we know that a decision boundary is linear. So they are asking about false statement. So I think the answer is option C and option A. Friends, if I change any answer, I will uh, mention it in the comment section. Once frequently look at the comment section uh, before the submission. So for this, uh, I think the answers are A and C. And moving on to the second one. Consider the case where two classes follow Gaussian distribution and they are given two points to identify a covariance matrix. So the probable answer is option C. That means x plus y equal to 6. So I think uh, C is the option. So if you know exactly, please comment. So our other viewers also will be able to uh, note that. This is actually a difficult assignment compared to other courses. Other courses are somewhat easy. Uh, but it is somewhat difficult because uh, due to that it is advanced subject. So no one get 100% uh, clarity about this. These are the future uh, technologies. And some are in usage stage. So it is uh, difficult for us in this stage to understand these type of subjects. So for third question, according to the given graph, I think the option is uh, last but one option. That is the dependent variable in this graph does not actually depend on the independent variable because the graph is uh, in the same line like that so i think this is the option for third question moving on to fourth one so given the following distribution of data points they are asking what method to choose for dimensional reduction here there are multi variable uh, i mean multi classes so the answer will be option a linear discriminant analysis if there is only single class and within the class we have to find, then we use principal, principal, but here there are two classes, so linear discriminant analysis. I think this one is exactly correct. And the fifth one, in general, which of the following classification methods is more resistant to gross out layers? So for fifth question, the probable answer is third option, logistic regression. So mark the third option. Friends, these are my probable answers. I have already told you that. So for sixth question, the probable answer is yes. And seventh one, in a binary classification scenario, x is independent variable. Uh, so give, they give like that. The answer, the probable answer will be Bernoulli distribution. And moving on to eighth one. So friends, here I, tra I tried my level best to give you the best answers. Here I didn't get any answer uh, mentioned here. So I think none of this is the answer. If you get any answer, please comment in the comment section. I am going with none of this because I did not get any any answer out of that. 
I got other matrix. And for ninth, we have got exact answer that is first option. See, I have exactly got these answers, but in place of 0 0.99, I got 1. It means a rough analysis. So it will be the answer. The first option may be the answer. And for again 10th question, I did not got any of the answer. I will show you also. So what once see here. So I have got this matrix. Minus 0 0.02, 0 0.76. So if you match here, it is some, uh, no, no, no option is uh, near to that. In the matrix 0 0.7 or 0 0.02. So the answer is. I think the answer will be none of the above again. So friends, these are the probable solutions uh, regarding week 3 of machine learning. If I get any exact answer uh, or any change in the answer, I will mention in the comment section. So once again, visit uh, the comment section. If you guys know any of the uh, exact solutions for any of the 10 questions here, please mention in the comment section with valid uh, statement supporting that so that our, our viewers can able to watch that and mark those answers so friends these are the solutions for this week so for further more videos and also regarding other course videos please keep supporting me hope this video is helpful for you if you like the video uh, please share to it share it with your friends and also click the like button please subscribe our channel so until then, goodbye. Thank you.